Kwanzaa has been alive now for like 49 years. And we're gonna today uh, practice the day of Kuumba today. As the day of Kuumba is uh, the 49th lighting. And so in this 49th lighting, uh, I dress this table with the intention to be creative. So here is my Mkeka mat. The Mkeka mat is the foundation of Africa, the foundation by which we build our understanding because that's where our ancient ancestors have all come from. Here, we have a beautiful Kinara made by Baba Tunde. Uh, this piece was made simply. He didn't have to go to a special place and buy any special wood. And he drew it with the mind of how simple it is to make a Kinara. The next thing after that I'm gonna bring is the Mishuma Asaba. So what I always do is I make sure that I lay out Mishuma Asaba, which, is, which simply means seven candles. The red, black, and green was also an American flag that was made by Marcus Mosiah Garvey. So, Marcus Mosiah Garvey came up with this concept of struggle for the people to create promise. And today is perfect for creating promise because we're looking at the day of Kuumba. So now I'm gonna go into my Kikombe Cha Umoja. This is my unity cup. And this is actually when we do libation, we normally pour to ancestors. And then we take that water and we go out and we give it to a tree so that it may come back down on our faces rain. So I'm gonna now go into Vabunzi, ears of corn, like so. And you can stack it up to make it look interesting. What's very important is that everything touches the mat. Everything touches the foundation. Nothing should be found without touching the foundation. Next step, I have some great vegetables. Since I'm already with vegetables, what I'm always gonna do is how I would set up my table is where the green is, the land, I always put my fruit and vegetables where the green is. So I take that and it's like painting a picture. You want this to really say something here. I'm gonna take here and always try to create some type of pyramid. Um, this year, when I set up this table, I set up this table in name of my mother. She passed away at the beginning of December. And so I, I, I build this table with the passion of what she is uh, giving in this process. And then I'm going to go to Zawadi. Zawadi is gifts. Zawadi is what is made with hands here. And as you can see, the mask here was actually made with my own hands. On the table, you always want to have books. The books should always have something to do with African culture. It's always great to have a book that's written by Maulana Karinga because, of course, he was uh, the major part in creating Kwanzaa. And all touching, guess what? The Mkeka mat. You know, you want it to be really uh, hu uh, a humble setting where people get this idea that this is about building togetherness. Again, it goes back to blood, the people, and the land. The struggle for the people for a new, a new way. This is a, a unique holiday specially made for black people to celebrate themselves and give themselves to the world, present themselves to the world.